Hello children. What's going on? Playing? Busy in studies? Have you seen all the work that I gave you? You have done? Or no? And the video that I sent you? Did you see the previous chapter? I am back with a new chapter. Lesson 12 Conquering Distances Right from the time early man started and invented the wheel. From that time till today we have seen great progress in the means of transport that we have today. Earlier man had to carry his load on his back or on his head. Then he invented the wheel after some time, after many years and then he made a cart and today you see we can't live without the means of transport. So many means of transport. We are having all the modern means of transport. What are these transport? Why we use them? We use them to go from one place to another. They carry people and also goods. All types of goods they are carrying with them. Alright. So, means of transport are very important for us. And in this lesson, you are going to study and see so many things about means of transport. And right from the beginning, when the wheel was invented, about that also you will get to know certain things, what, uh, how the wheel uh, was made and when it was invented, where it was invented, all such things you will come to know. And with the coming of the wheel, what all things came and today what we are having right from the beginning till today we are going to see many things about the means of transport. Now coming to the lesson you see conquering. Conquering means something which we win over. When we win over something then that is conquering. We have conquered distance means earlier there was so much of Trouble people were unable to go from one place to another. They did not know anything how to go. No, today the means of transport have shortened the distance. We are going to different places within no time. We don't have to waste time just whenever we think of a plan of going anywhere. There are various options for us. We can go in different types of means of transport. So all these things we are going to see and we have uh, made a great progress. Today we have got a number of uh, means of transport and till certain uh, part I will take up and then the next part in the part 2 I will see. So this is part 1. So let's go to the screen and see everything. So be good and listen carefully, watch everything and do your work. Good morning children. Have an awesome day. Welcome to lesson 12, Conquering Distances Part 1. Key points in the lesson, introduction, why people travel, traveling in ancient times, invention of wheel, means of transport, roadways. So children, this much we are going to see in part 1, then other things we will see in part 2. 
Go to a railway station and you will see thousands of people with bags, suitcases and briefcases rushing in or out of the railway station. Go to a bus stand and you will see people waiting for a bus. You will find a similar condition at an airport. So children, you must have seen so many people at the railway station, bus stand, airport, seaport, anywhere. You will find these people with bags and baggages and some are waiting, some are just rushing in. Why? You must know they are going somewhere. That's why they want to go somewhere. They are waiting for their bus, their train, their ship or their plane, their aeroplane, their flight. Where are these people going? People travel from one place to another for different reasons. Many members of the family get together to celebrate festivals like Diwali, Holi, Christmas, Eid, Chhat, Guru Purab, etc. Some people move or migrate, you call it, to other cities or countries for better jobs, education and business. Better jobs, education, business. They travel to meet the members of their family or to attend family functions. So people are traveling, we all are traveling for some or the other purpose, reason. And the reason may be anything for jobs, for education or to go to another country forever or maybe we are going home to our family members who are staying in another city to attend some family functions. These days, thousands of people travel within the country and abroad to visit the places of interest like Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Hawa Mahal, etc. So people are going to see all these places of interest also in order to know about the country, to see everything in the country, for learning many things. People go in different parts of the country also and abroad. Abroad means to foreign countries. Sea coasts are favorite places for people who love swimming and water sports. So many people like to go to the sea coast. Why? Because they love the water sports, they want to enjoy at the uh, sea and that's why they go for entertainment purpose. Now the people can travel anywhere and in any way they want depending on the time and money that they want to spend on their travel. They can travel by bus, car, train, metro, aeroplane, ship, boat, etc. So people, it's their wish in whichever thing they want to move, in whichever means of transport they want to move, it is their wish. And they use different means of transport for going to other places. In ancient times, man had to walk on foot He had to move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. If he had to cross a water body, he used a canoe, a small boat which he had made or a reed boat. He had to carry his goods either on his head or on his back. He could not travel very far. The invention of wheel changed the life of early man. 
he made a cart and loaded heavy goods on it. So this invention of wheel changed man's life forever. Today we see our lives have changed and we are having so many means of transport. If we did not have the wheel, man did not have to invent the wheel, today we would not have had so many means of transport. So you see how the carts were made by early man and he loaded the heavy goods on it. Whatever goods he wanted to transport from one place to another, he loaded it on the cart that he made. He also trained horses and donkeys to pull carts, horses and donkeys to pull the carts. The tra transportation of people and goods became easier. The progress in the means of transport is closely related to the invention of wheel. So, this invention of wheel is the main purpose, main reason why we are having so many means of transport. We can see wheels everywhere in different means of transport. You can see the wheels in rickshaws, bike, bicycles, skates and so many other means of transport. We can see the wheels, see the rickshaws, the bicycles, this is the skates, then car, then train and in aeroplane also we have wheels. The aeroplane plane takes out its wheels from bottom and then only it can land. First it uh, when it is taking off then that time what happens? The plane first moves on its wheels and then it goes up in the sky and when it lands then again same thing happens. You can see wheels in machines and factories. You see, in different machines, you will see the wheels. This is the wheel here. And then, you see, this is another wheel. This portion, this is moving, this wheel, this way, round, 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 round. And in factories, also, we will see different types of wheels over here. Can you see? In the factories also, to run the factory, and there are many wheels in different machines that we are using to operate all the machines. You can see wheels in farm equipments also. In different farm equipments like these tractors and other farm equipments, you will find the wheels. These are the wheels attached to these farm equipments and to these tractors also the wheels are attached. The wheels have changed from round blocks of wood to rubber tires with air filled tubes. Many tires are tubeless. Can you imagine a life without wheels today? No, not at all. We cannot imagine our life without wheels. All these wheels are very important to us because they have conquered distances. Today, because of these wheels only, we are able to reach to far away places, near places, everywhere. Do you know the oldest wheel was discovered in Mesopotamia, modern Iraq, parts of Syria, Turkey, Iran and is believed to be over 5,500 years old. So this wheel was where it was invented in Mesopotamia and today it is divided into so many countries that Mesopotamia, it was one country first. The pictures below show different stages of development of wheel. So you will find different stages of the development of wheel. 
first it was this way then here like this then it became like this slowly slowly it kept on changing the wheel so this way you will see the stages of wheel uses of wheel you see early man he carried the goods on his back then on his head on his shoulders then he pulled made a small cart and only he could pull it this way and then he pushed made such a cart with wheel and he could push it this way and moved his goods so this was the uses of wheel we use for pushing for pulling for carrying all our goods do you know besides being used in the means of transport wheels also played an important role in other fields like spinning wheels in producing cotton cotton textile the cloth that we wear the cotton cloth clothes that we wear made of cotton cloth cotton thread is done on this spinning wheel this is the spinning wheel and then you can see the spinning wheel the thread is woven on this wheel then for drawing water for taking out water from the wells for this also this purpose also the wheels are used so wheels are used in so many places wheels also played an important role in some other fields also like steering wheels in vehicles you see in these st steering wheels what you can see here in different vehicles in the cars buses and then here in the ships <coughs> then here you can see in grinding these are the grinding wheels for making flour from grains flour means the atta that we use that flour to make chapatis and bread and all they are ground on this grinding wheels means of transport roadways cars buses trucks bullock carts these are the different means of roadways running on the roads moving on the roads then tongas bicycles scooters motorbikes move on roads cars buses and trucks are fast moving vehicles they take less time to reach any place so they move very fast and we reach any place wherever we have to go in few hours if the distance is less then it can take few minutes also to reach to different places fast moving vehicles use petrol diesel and cng to run petrol diesel and cng petrol see the petrol is being filled in the cars and scooters and all and here this is the diesel and then this is cng do you know cng compressed natural gas is safer and creates less pollution
So in this cylinder, gas is filled and then this is fitted in our vehicles and we go to the gas station to get our, these cylinders filled and then these vehicles move on CNG. And then this is very safe and cheaper also. The slow moving vehicles like rickshaw, bicycle and tongas use man or animal power. Man or animal power is used to move rickshaws, bicycle and tongas. So bicycles and rickshaws, animal pulls. Uh, the man is pulling the rickshaws and bicycles and animal pulls the tongas and some of the bullock carts also are pulled by bulls. So this is the end of the lesson children. I am sure you have enjoyed the lesson and understood everything. The next part again I will bring for you and you will be able to understand the whole lesson about this transport lesson conquering distances what you are seeing just now so thank you and have a nice time enjoy study and be good always bye and soon we will meet in the next part of this lesson thank you